There is another big issue in the impasse over the debt problem, the political cost to the Republican and Democratic parties. Whatever the outcome of the debate, there will be winners and losers. To take a look at that part of the story, let's turn to CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes, also National Journal contributor Major Garrett. They're both in our Washington bureau. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Nancy, I'll begin with you. You heard Senator Klobuchar saying she did not think the Boehner bill and the Reid bill were that far apart, but you're talking to people on Capitol Hill all, all the time. How far apart are these two sides? Well, the two major issues that are keeping these sides apart are the two issues that have been keeping them apart from the beginning. The first issue is how long to extend the debt ceiling. You have Democrats who want to extend it all the way through 2012. You have Republicans who say, no, we need to extend it in about six months. And between now and then, we have to put some kind of um, commission in place to cut spending even more. And that needs to be the trigger to raise the debt ceiling again. Otherwise, Washington won't do anything. So what they're trying to do right now is figure out some way to meet in the middle. Uh, maybe uh, increase the debt ceiling again in six months, but make it more of a formality. That's what Democrats want, uh, Republicans holding firm. And then the other big issue uh, that is separating them is this deficit commission itself and what its role is going to be. Republicans want that commission to focus only on spending cuts. Democrats want it to be a mix of cuts and increased tax revenue. And, and you know, whether they can come to an agreement uh, on this at all is, is what's going to determine whether we get through August 2nd or not. Sure. Okay, let's talk about political winners and losers at this point. Major, I'll turn to you. Of course, the game is not over yet, but let's look at Speaker Boehner. How is his performance being perceived at this point on Capitol Hill? Well, unevenly. I mean, the Speaker was unable to marshal his forces to get his original <clears throat> bill through on Thursday night. That created more volatility on the market. It created a sense in Washington that the House Republicans were not unified. In the end, he got a bill through and he moved the process forward. But that lost day is one lost day for negotiators to get something done before Tuesday. Now, Speaker Boehner's speakership is not in jeopardy, but he knows if he goes through this process again and he loses his own team, that he can't negotiate from a position of clout with Harry Reid or the president on this matter or anything else. So he's weakened compared to where he was a week ago. Nancy, let's talk about the Democrats, how they are being perceived at this point. Uh, well, I think it, it kind of depends on your political persuasion. Uh, if you think that the two sides should be meeting in the middle, uh, then you like what the Democrats have been doing uh, because they have put a lot of their sacred cows on the table throughout this negotiation, things like uh, uh, Medicare and Medicaid and perhaps making some cuts to those programs. If you think uh, that Democrats should never have put those things on the table, uh, th then you think that they come out as losers and vice versa with the Republicans. Uh, if you think that this problem uh, with the debt is created solely by spending, uh, then you like the fact that they have stuck to their guns on that issue. Uh, if you don't and mm -hmm. you think it's a mix of revenue and spending <laughs> cuts, then you think they really should have given some. 15 seconds each. Let's talk about the president and how he's being looked at in this. Major, you take the first 15. Well, the president is doing better than congressional Republicans, but his top line number has shrunk the last two weeks consecutively. Gallup now has him at 40 percent, the lowest of his presidency. Everyone is suffering. Nancy? And, you know, the last week, the, the president and the White House have desperately been trying to get back into these negotiations, feeling like they really needed a seat at the table. But it was really congressional leaders driving this train. Uh, and, and that week in the White House somewhat as well. OK, Nancy Cortez and Major Garrett, long days for you two as well. We thank you so much for getting up so early and talking to us. Take care. My pleasure.